Hi friends, in today's episode, episode number 4 of our production control series, we will be covering the topic of calendar setup in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. Because this calendar setup is very important in order to in order to do your capacity planning because based on which the production planning engine runs and generates the production orders accordingly. So first of all, uh, if you are watching this video for the first time, my name is Sriram Sarashankaran and I have been posting articles, videos and documents related to Dynamics 365 F&O. If you want to get regular updates, make sure that you follow my profile in LinkedIn or subscribe to my channel Sriram Sarashankaran D365 Talks. Right. So we are in episode number four and already, like I said, we have covered uh, three episodes. I will strongly recommend you to check out those three episodes before coming into the this episode number four. Uh, because oh, that's how you will be able to get a full understanding of full benefit of this particular production control series. And uh, we are actually in this series going to cover the discrete manufacturing processes. Probably in a later, 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 uh, we will try to uh, come up with another episode, another series for a process or a lean manufacturing. Right. So in this episode, we will be covering the configuration required for the calendars. Actually, we have planned for uh, covering the root setups, but it is important to understand the setups related to calendar resources. And then we will take up uh, the root configuration in episode number six. So the agenda for this session is going to be we will be covering the what exactly the calendars are, why the calendar uh, creation of calendar is important how to create a calendar using the work time working time template and then uh, we will also quickly show you the demo on how to compose the working times so that a, a complete year of calendar is getting generated so until unless you do a composing of working times you will not be able to generate a, a day wise plan and uh, also i will also quickly tell you the how to assign this calendar in the resource resource or the resource group so which is very important based on which the the resource is available for working or the resources not available is purely decided based on the working time calendars so first of all what is a calendar in microsoft dynamics 365 the calendar for production resources are relevant when scheduling planned and actual production orders based on routing data for manufactured items. So the, what it exactly means is when, when you do a production order, the resources or assigned resource can be a man, a machine or tool or a, whatever it may be. So whether the resources are available for your scheduled production order or the uh, or for the planned production order for whatever it may be. So the actual production order is actually based on whether the calendar, whether the calendar, whether it the resources having a working calendar or not. So in a in a year you may have holidays on Saturdays and Sundays or maybe some festival holidays during which your production is actually not running. So in those cases you need to assign appropriate calendars to your production capacity. And uh, also in the calendars we actually define the working hours within the calendar. So this working hours primarily help you to define what is the maximum capacity in which you are going to work. So uh, even though if you define hundred percent efficiency in the calendar, I will also show you quickly as we progress in this video how to define the uh, efficiency of each and every uh, day, whether or we working at hundred percent efficiency or even if we are working at eighty percent efficiency, based on which the calendar based on the based on the values assigned in the calendar system will plan for the production orders accordingly and uh, also the most important point is this calendar is a common setup and it can be assigned for your warehouses vendor uh, scheduled receipts or uh, when what is the working time of your vendor you can also uh, configure the working time for your customers if you are using the sales orders form where uh, based on the working time of the customers you can deliver the materials so the same this is a common setup which is actually used in the other forms also so in this video we will quickly see how to define the calendar right so first point here we need to talk about is defining the working time templates so let me quickly get into the system. So the working time template need to be created for each and before assigning each and every calendar. So in D365, in order to define a calendar, all you need to do is navigate to organization administration. And uh, let me collapse this under setup. You have an option called calendars, right? So under this option, you need to click on calendars. 
so you can create a calendar as per your convenience what is the what is the what is your production schedule whether we are working on a, a three shift or two shift or single shift um so let me try to create a new calendar let's say i am creating a new calendar for eight hours um eight hours shift so i'm planning for a calendar for a eight hour shift i don't have capacity to run for 24 hours so i have a eight hour shift and uh, you can give a name as per your convenience whatever how the way you want to identify it production so we are actually production of fabric let's say i'm going to have a hater um production of shirt so that's the fg item which we are producing as part of this series so i have given a calendar id and the name and uh, you can also define a base calendar when you once you define a base calendar whatever the working time and timings whatever the working times you have defined under that particular calendar will be inherited to this calendar also so if you click on this drop down you can see the other calendars in the master is actually visible over here so once if i select 16 hours then it is going to inherit the 16 hour working timings to this calendar also so whenever i do changes for the 16 hours it will be automatically updated in your eight hour shift also so generally it is it is not recommended i would say to use uh, a base calendar if you want you can use it until unless you clearly know that you uh, because uh, what i mean to say here is if you want to use a 16 hour calendar all you have to use it, do is just to make use of the 16 hour calendar instead of trying to duplicate it and uh, inherit it in somewhere else because in d365 i don't uh, find a functionality which helps you to understand if uh, what are for example if 16 hours is in, inherited in six different calendars you will not be able to know until unless you know what is the base calendar being tagged over here right so you it's not recommended to create a n number of calendars it's uh, probably you can have uh, maybe four or five calendars based on your uh, working time schedules right so so if uh, there are only four or five calendars it is better to maintain individual working timings so in this case i'm so like i said i'm not going to tag a base calendar i'm going to have a eight hour shift and uh, the standard work day is also i'm going to keep it as eight hours so after that i need to assign the working timings so when we do the working timings at that time we need to perform the composing of working timings so this is where actually i was about to discuss so when we if we want to perform the generate the working timings it can be done using the composing of working timings so before composing the working timings we need to have a appropriate working time template so let me cancel this let me go back so under the same organization setup calendars we have another master called working time templates so here we need to define the working time templates for each and every day from starting off from monday tuesday let me collapse all starting for each day monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday which are for each and every day you can define a working time you may be working for eight hours in monday or 10 hours in tuesday so each and every day can have a different working timings so that is getting de defined in the working time templates so here i'm going to generate a eight hour working time so eight hours um, so i'll copy the name so this working based on this working time template your entire year calendar will be composed so i will also quickly show you but first of all to create a working time template uh, all you need to, for each and every day you need to add the working time let's say um so let me add it for monday and then uh, we can quickly copy it for the up the next upcoming days also so you can use the the clock option over here or you can simply type the time what you want let's say you start off the shift at 8 30 a.m uh, maybe 9 a.m 8 30 a.m is too early right so let's start off the shift at 9 a.m and uh, i want to have can run the shift uh, until 10 30 a.m and you can keep the efficiency as 100 percent let's uh, we assume that the people and the resources are used at 100 uh, percent of the efficiency okay so let me add one more line and let me assume that the 10 30 to 10 45 is a short break for the employees of course uh, intermittent breaks help the people to work at a much better rate right so always i recommend you guys to take intermittent breaks so 10 45 to let's say 
11 45 12 12 30 and i'll keep it as 12 30 12 30 pm so this is the uh, next time let me save this then i'll click on new button so whenever i add based on the inter based on the time interval system automatically calculates what is the total hours which we are actually planning so let's say 12 30 to 1 30 we have a lunch break so uh, from 1 30 to 1 30 to 1 30 pm to 3 30 we have the another round of this thing so 3 30 pm it should be even if you tag uh, wrong time system will throw an error saying that uh, it's an inappropriate value and then uh, let's assume that from 3 30 to 3 45 we have a break and then uh, and then uh, from 3 45 pm to let's say 6 pm so so let's assume this is the working calendar which i have so almost eight hours of work schedule which we have so this is the working calendar for our working our working time template for monday so i cannot do the same thing for each and every day right so it is going to be a time consuming process so all i need to do is i need, simply need to click on copy day so i'll copy it from monday to tuesday let me just click on ok then this will be simply copied whatever the time which i have uh, created it will be simply copied to the tuesday also so now if i go to tuesday the same time is repeated if i go to wednesday you can see it is currently it is empty but uh, let me quickly copy it uh, i can copy it to wednesday i am copying from tuesday to wednesday so like this you can quickly create a calendar uh, working timing template and assign this working time template now i'll copy from uh, wednesday to thursday and assign this working time template uh, for composing your working days uh, for an entire year so d365 will compose your working day for the entire year so for thursday i'll th copy from thursday to friday so let me assume that uh, the saturday sunday is holiday for the production unit so so in that case what you have to do is in saturday i'm just uh, enabling close for pickup and then in sunday also i am enabling close for pickup so i don't need to assign any of the um any of the working timing templates for over here so now we have assigned the working timing for the our eight hour shift so let me copy this so now all i need to do is i need to go back and uh, assign this working time template in our working time composing uh, page so we have our eight hour production shift this is the calendar which we generated now let me go to working timings so in order to generate the compose working timing so the compose working time basically uh, that's our third part of our presentation which is this helps you to define the capacity planning for an entire year because i i did it for one week but i cannot do this for the entire year right so i want the system to automatically generate the working timing for the entire year so based on which the system will plan the resource allocation and uh, because this particular calendar will be assigned in your resource so when in the next video when we talk about the resource and resource group in which we will uh, discuss in detail about how this uh, how the resources will get affected based on assigning the calendars and most important point is if there is no active working time in the system then uh, you will not be able to generate you will not be able to complete your production orders so the system will send an error message saying you don't have the sufficient capacity so that's the reason you need to compose the working time for the entire year and uh, if there are any changes required you can do the same in the compose working time so let me get back to the system so so here if i click on compose working times so here currently the working time template is seven hours i don't need the seven hour template whatever we have created is a eight hour working template so eight hours working template is the one which i'm going to use and here you can define the from date and to date so here it kind of takes the current system generated date and uh, also from this date it actually going to generate a calendar for next to one year if you want to generate it for next three months you can do it or even if you want to generate it for next uh, two years you can do it so system will automatically generate all the days based on the working time template which we have created right so let me simply just click on ok button so now once i click on ok button d will process the compo i would say compose the working time for all the days for the next one year so it will easily help you to assign this calendar to any of your uh, production or uh, sales or customer customer scheduling or vendors uh, vendor delivery schedulings
fantastic now the calendar is created so we now have the working calendar and you can also see the saturday and sunday we are on holiday so it is actually closed so production will not be planned when you uh, actually plan the resources for saturday and sunday and also you have the working timings uh, for each and every day whatever we have planned so for thursday or friday and uh, if you want to, to if, even if you click on edit let's say if you are going to work on a specific sunday and because of a high demand then you need to disable it uh, so that it will be in the open status right but uh, you need to make sure that you need to assign the uh, working timing for the same right so this is how you need to uh, create a working calendar and then uh, all you have to do is once this eight hour shift is created uh, then in our production control resource in the resources you need to tag the calendar so in each and every resources whether it is a type of human resource or a or machine or tool you need to tag the calendar so this is where this is where we need to do it but uh, we will take it up this in the next session because in the next session we will cover in detail about the uh, about the resources and the resource related resource related uh, setups uh, where indeed where we will also see how to tag the calendars whatever we have created right now right so that's it for today's video uh, so make sure that you subscribe to the channel Sri Ram Sivashankaran D365 Talks if you are using YouTube or if you are using LinkedIn make sure that you follow my profile hope to see you in the next episode number 5 tomorrow thank you